Um, I'd like to say for a minute that um, VA healthcare is not that bad. Um, I've been dealing with them for like four years now, and I've gotten pretty good healthcare. Um, I've come a long way in four years. But uh, uh, yeah, it was pretty grim when we started, um, especially Virginia. There's been a couple times when they've ignored me and when I've really needed help, but um, most of the time they um, are pretty good about helping me. Um, we got into a little stuff about the bleeding thing, but that's not a big deal. I mean, it was the military did cause it, but they wrote off that they didn't and a bunch of other stuff. So I was like, whatever, just treat me for it. And they treated me for it. So that was good. Um, yeah. And let's see here. Um, yeah. Uh, my caseworker came by today and I told him that I have a hard time picking up from people who can't and that I thought he was trying to destroy me because I've been getting really, really paranoid about that lately. And like he said, of course, that he wasn't. And like people online have told me that I'm just being crazy again, so I'm trying not to. I had kind of a bad night last night where I had um, I thought there were dead people after me and I was like freaking out and stuff. I took my medicine and everything, but that doesn't always mean anything. Um, yeah, I just kind of like freaked out for a couple hours and I was kind of like hiding and stuff like I used to. But it doesn't matter. Even if I realize that it's not real, I still have problems. So, yeah. Um, I guess I didn't register that it wasn't real when I went into the ER a couple weeks ago. I told you before, or I said on my, when um, I've been on the computer that um, I've had a hard time with with um, schizophrenia these past couple of weeks. Like, I'm really down and I don't want to do anything. Like, I haven't been able to write. My cognitive skills are kind of low. But it's nothing that, I mean, I'm, I'm getting better at dealing with this than I was before. Like, before I would have been in the hospital, like, screaming and crying or whatever, and I'm not doing that anymore. Um, they talked again about the work, the work program, and it's a work transition program. And it would be down in Fayetteville. Um, there are some problems with going down to Fayetteville, but overall, we think we can work them out. Um, even if I have to like switch guardianship a little bit, I mean, not completely, but they said maybe it would be possible to do like half and half or something. I'm not sure if it is possible or if it isn't, but that would be cool because I know my grandma's like under a mean stress with that. Um, uh, yeah, and it won't be forever either because she's old and eventually she'll have to give it up. So my next in line is my aunt and I would have to move down to Texas, which isn't a problem. But yeah. Um, eventually I hope to get rid of the guardianship, but I doubt it'll happen because like I have a lot of problems, like with memory and stuff. But we were talking about jobs I could do and um we went against subway and stuff because um because it's just too much interaction with people and too much stress and stuff. So I would have to be like a janitor or something, something where I didn't have to deal with a lot of people. There were a lot of like stress. Because when I get stressed out, like I deteriorate pretty easily. Like I will just completely go downhill. Um, yeah, I'm weak in that respect. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of what's going on. And I just felt like ranting about it. And I just wanted to say that the VA does not have bad health care. I mean, sometimes it's not like all doctors screw up, so yeah.